Hi, welcome to this video. On March 1st at 4.51 p.m. Pacific Time, there is a full moon in Virgo happening. And this full moon will be opposite the Sun conjunct Neptune and trine Saturn in Capricorn as Saturn in Capricorn sextiles the Sun and Neptune in Pisces. So this is helping us to bring our dreams into reality. Virgo helps us to break things down to make them more manageable and Saturn and Capricorn helps us to be more present in the physical and more able to handle reality itself. It has the ability to take care of the hard work in a more systematic and structured way. So right now there is an emphasis on creating more structure and creating more of a sense of being systematic in your day-to-day -day life. And then the Sun conjunct Neptune helps us to tap into the collective, the unconscious energy of everyone so that we can actually bring fo something forward that is very necessary for the collective to heal. There may also be an increase in synchronicity at this time because whenever there's a lot of Pisces planets happening, the sense of everything being connected really comes forward. And I think that what the deal is is that our unconscious minds are very intertwined with the physical reality. So whatever's happening with you at an unconscious level is actually um, manifesting in some way or is somehow connected to reality. So this can bring about psychic-like things happening and also um, just seeing more synchronicity, really. So it's always really interesting, though, to think about. And one time I did have a realization that somehow our unconscious minds and the universe are somehow like really one thing. Um, so anyways, something to kind of think about anyway. And then Mercury, Venus, and Chiron are all conjunct in Pisces, creating a stellium. So this is a time for having deep conversations that can bring more harmony to your relationships because you're more able to be vulnerable about the deep wounds that have occurred in your life. And so this is a good time for getting things off your chest and having healing conversations. But this stellium is also square to Mars and Sagittarius. So it can create some amount of tension at the same time, possibly defensiveness or maybe even a harshness in the way you are communicating. And so it, it can be somewhat of a, an intense situation that could get brought forward. But Mars is also trying Uranus. So anything that is communicated, um, you know, any truths that need to be brought forward is ultimately going to bring a renewed sense of vigor into your life. So anything that is not in alignment with this truth may have to fall away. There may be a sense of a destructive kind of feeling uh, in the beginning of this transit, but ultimately it's going to help bring new life to a situation. And then Jupiter is trying this stellium uh, Jupiter being in Scorpio. So anything that is really brought forward, these things that are needed to be faced, beliefs even that might need to be transformed, is going to help bring growth to you. So sometimes when it comes to wounds and things that have really been very deeply rooted, possibly from past lives or really early life, Sometimes beliefs can get formed around these things. 
And so it's really important to understand why you might believe certain things and look deeper at those beliefs so that you can transform them and ultimately expand and grow so that all of the things that are not real, uh, all of the things that you've made up in your mind about these things can actually fall away and that's how growth can occur from these situations. And then um, Jupiter is two degrees away from being in conjunct Uranus before going retrograde on March 8th. So there is a moment of needing to really let go of old things, like letting go of the old to make way for the new. Because Uranus and Aries can be somewhat like destructive, but in that destruction it makes way for new energies to come forward. And Jupiter in Scorpio is a death and a rebirth of sorts. So there is just this de desire and need to let go of old things, old beliefs, old situations, um, maybe things from the past even, that just need to be released so that you can grow and become the person you're meant to become. And so, as Jupiter goes retrograde, this is going to help us to do more inner work and search for the answers from within about what uh, next steps will be needed for when Uranus moves into Taurus and for when Jupiter starts moving forward again. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate it very much. Have an awesome time.